February is already here and there's a lot of shoes coming this month and we gotta talk about these upcoming releases. But before we go into that, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you like the content. Also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video, which is every single day, guys. So, so go follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as Jason J Kicks. And now let's begin this video. And the first shoe that we have releasing from Jordan brand is the Jordan 2 Lucky Green. This shoe, I gotta say that they look extremely clean. This green heat on the shoe looks really nice. Do I think this shoe is going to sell out? Mm, no, because Jordan 2 is not the most um, popular silhouette and this colorway, I don't think a lot of people are gonna go for them. Well, people in Boston, I think you go for them, but you know, the shoes though, but I don't think it's going to be a sellout. Then we have the Jordan 5 Aqua. This is another classic colorway that I don't think is gonna sell out either. Do I think the shoe looks nice? Yeah, of course it looks nice. It has this Aqua vibe from the Jordan 8 Aquas, this time on the Jordan 5 silhouette, but I don't see this shoe selling out either, man. Let me know if you're gonna go for this shoe. Then the same day, we have the LA Plus Jordan brand collaboration for the Jordan 2 Low KO. This shoe, me in particular, I don't know how I feel about them. I'm extremely sure this shoe will be a sellout just because of the collaboration, but I don't know. I need to see this shoe in hand first in order to tell you my, my opinion about it, how I feel about them, because I like Jordan Lowe's, but this is the first time I see a Jordan KO Low, and it's a collaboration with Union LA. So we gotta see. I hope we can get these shoes in hand to tell you my opinion about it. You let me know yours in the comment section. Then we have the silhouette of the moment, Jordan 4, this time in the Seafoam colorway or oil green as Nike called them. This shoe I think looks really clean, but look really similar to some other shoes that we have in terms of the colorway because the shoe is predominantly um, white and I have a lot of white Jordan 4s as you can see right in my back. So this shoe anyways is the women's release and biggest size on this one will be a size 12 which got me out of this shoe in the size range because I'm a size 12 in men's size and this is a women's size 12 which in a men's size will be a 10 and a half that will be the biggest size. If you can fit a 10 and a half or lower and you like the shoe, you can go for it. Then coming straight from Nike is this shoe that I want to see this one in hand and it's the Jordan 1 Zoom High Valentine's Day. I really like the way the material looks on the pictures of this shoe. Also the colorway, man, I, I don't know. It's giving, it's giving me some nice vibes that I want to grab this shoe for my girlfriend. I think this will be my girlfriend Valentine's Day present. Um, let me know if you want this shoe for your girl as well. And if you're a lady, let me know if you want your boyfriend or your man or your wife or your husband to get this shoe for you. Then we have another shoe of the silhouette of the moment, this time in the craft version with this Jordan 4 craft. Um, again, mixed emotion. I don't know how I felt about it. I think the colorway is nice, but the materials, this mixed materials that you have with this craft concept, I want to see the shoe in hand. You know, I like Jordan 4, but I'm not trying to go for each and every one of them. This one, I want to see it in hand, but I'm afraid that I like him and I want to keep him and I, there's a lot of shoes released in this month and I want to be a little selective, but there's a lot of hate coming. So let me know if you're going for this shoe. Next we have the controversial Jordan 185 black and white, AKA Panda. The controversial on this shoe comes because I like to call them Panda because they have the Panda colorway, but some people are hating me because I'm calling them Panda, even though they have the same colorway of the Nike Dunk Little Panda. But Anyway, the shoes dope, really clean, go with any outfit, and I really feel that this will be an instant sellout because those people who hate the Nike Dunk Low Pandas are gonna go like crazy for this. I like them. And you people's hating on me because I call them Pandas, I don't think you like the shoe as much as I do because this one right here is a top five all time for me. So I'm gonna get this shoe 
Anyway, anyhow, I'm going to get it. The Jordan 1 High Panda Black and White 85. Then we have another Jordan 1 release in this month and it's a Jordan 1 Reverse Lenin and this shoe, man, I want it. I really want this shoe. The quality looks amazing in pictures. Also, that's, that colorway, maybe I don't want it for the same reasons that you want it. I want this shoe because this should give me this um, Golden State Warriors vibe, the colorway, color blocking. I, I, I really am for it. I want that shoe. The quality is amazing. The colorway, I think, is really nice. I think that shoe will go really nice with my carry jersey. So I want this shoe. Let me know if you want to go for this reverse landing Jordan 1. Then we have a classic, a OG Jordan 13, the playoff. This shoe, man, I've been waiting for this shoe. That's all I can say. That's how much I want this shoe. I really want it, man. The playoff is a classic. I know not a lot of people are a fan of um, 13s nowadays, but this one is the OG, a really classic shoe. One of my favorite 13s all time. I really need this. Let me know your opinion about these OG 13 playoff. Are you gonna go for this or are you just simply going to pass? Then we have a really clean pair of Jordan 6 and there's this cool gray Jordan 6. I like it. I don't think the shoe is gonna sell out, but if you get the chance to see the shoe in hand, I think they were going to look better and you're going to agree with me in this when you see the shoe in hand. The cool gray six, really amazing in terms of the way they look. Let me know your opinion about this one also, guys. Then we have the Jordan 1 Elephant or White Cement. Man, what should I say about this shoe, man? Man, this shoe's funny for real, this shoe's funny. All these cement print on this shoe, man. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know about this one for real. I think this shoe is gonna sit for a good time. If they throw a lot of purse out there, this shoe is gonna sit for a whole year. Just like the um, the Heritage did. The they still to today. The Heritage are sitting, and the Heritage is way better than this one. But I don't know. We're living in a crazy world. Probably this shoe won't sit for a long time, but. I don't see this shoe selling out. I don't see this one selling out. Actually, I don't even know what they are releasing though. And to end this video, let me go with some honorable mentions of shoe that I will be looking out because I really like the silhouette and it's the Nike LeBron 20. For real, best LeBron silhouette I've seen. It's probably because this shoe really looks like a pair of Kobe's, okay? It really looks like a pair of Kobe's. And for this month, we're gonna have the release of the Liverpool LeBron 20 and really, really nice color on um, this silhouette. This color looks really, really, really good. Also, we have this other shoe that I don't know the release date of this one, but I wanna see the story that Nike and LeBron are coming with this shoe because this really looks like a Travis Scott collaboration. This shoe has the reverse swoosh and everything. This shoe is called the Nike LeBron 20 All-Star. The, the colorway is nice, it's baby blue. The reverse swoosh is something that is calling a lot of people's attention and I wanna see this shoe. So yeah, these two pairs of LeBron 20s are the honorable mention that I'm gonna be looking for those shoes because I wanna see them in hand. They're, they're kinda good, they look kinda good. Guys, this is it for the month of February. Let me know if there's some shoes that you will go for this month. A lot of good ones for real. A lot of good for the All-Star Weekend. I know there's some shoes that are not on the list, but it's because I haven't got information about them yet. And some of this release date might change, you know, how Nike is doing their thing right now. But yeah, these shoes are going to release these years and there's a lot of good ones. My favorite one, top priority is the Jordan 1 High 85 Panda Black and White. I love those shoes. I need to get those shoes. Those are the top priority for me. Then the play of 13 and those reverse linen. Let me know which are your top three releases of this month in the comment section. Thank you guys a lot for watching the video and supporting the channel as well. If you enjoy the content, you want to see more videos like this every month, hit the thumbs up and let me know that also in the comment section because your feedback really helped me to improve the video and the content of the channel. This is your boy Jason J Kicks. You can also follow me on my Instagram as Jason J Kicks. Share the video with your friends so more people know about what we're doing in this channel. And until the next one, goodbye.